Hey YouTube, it's the Red Pillar of the Blue here. Um, today I wanted to make a video on something, that I, an article that I stumbled upon that I haven't heard very many people talking about um, at all, actually. And it's kind of, it's kind of frightening, but um, I was, I forget what website I was on, but I was on a website and I stumbled on this article um, and the title is UN Declares Arms Treaty Treaty trade treaty to go into effect December 24th. So I looked it up and it, it, the UN has a uh, arms trade treaty and apparently the United States signed it and it goes into effect on December 24th. Um, and I think if you, if you've heard of it, um, that's great. If you haven't, that's, um, you need to, you need to look into it. But uh, you can go on PatriotOutdoorNews.com. That's where I found the article, um, and you can—I'm sure you can Google it and find other art or other articles, or the same article on different websites. But basically, um, real quick, I'm just going to read a couple bullet points on this article um, from the Arms Treaty Trade Treaty. It says in Article Two. Of the treaty defines Article Two of the treaty defines the scope of the treaty's prohibitions: the right to own, buy, sell, trade, or transfer all means of armed resistance, including handguns, is denied to civilians by this section of the Arms Treaty tr Trade Treaty. Um, Article Three places the ammunition slash munitions fired, launched, or delivered by the conventional arms covered under Article Article Two within the scope of the treaty treaty's prohibitions as well. Um, Article 4 rounds out the regulations, also placing all parts and components of weapons within the scheme. Um, Article 5, under the title of General Implementation, Article 5 mandates that all countries participating in the treaty shall establish and maintain a national control system, including a national control list. This sh list should apply, apply the provisions of this treaty to the broadest range of conventional arms. Article 12 adds to the record-keeping requirement, mandating that the list include the quantity, value, model, slash type, authorized international transfers of conventional arms, as well as the ident identity of the end users of this of these items. Excuse me. Finally, the agreement demands that national governments take appropriate measures to enforce the terms of the treaty, including civilian disarmament. If these con Countries can't get this done on their own, however, Article 16 provides for UN assistance, specifically including help with the enforcement of stockpile management, disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration programs. In fact, a voluntary trust fund will be established to assist those countries that need help from UN peacekeepers or other regional forces to disarm their citizens. Um, that, it, to me, that's kind of a, that's kind of like a holy crap. Uh, wake up right there. Um, it says that it goes into effect this year on December 24th. Um, I, I don't know about, you know, people coming to our homes and, and taking our guns away right away. Um, I definitely think that'll happen eventually, but after December 24th, I think there's going to be some changes that, uh, everybody needs to look out for. Um, and, and you know, and you might not believe it. You might believe it. I don't know. Uh, I have looked it, looked it up, and uh, not necessarily the the actual trade treaty agreement thing, the the whatever you want to call it, the the treaty. Um, but I've been doing a little bit of research, and apparently this is this is real. This isn't a joke or anything, or or how people are always you know people are always saying, oh, they're here to take our guns. You know, they might actually be here to take our guns eventually. Like I said, I don't think it's going to happen on December 24th, but I think that will be the date that it starts that they're going to try and, you know, start saying, you know, you need to register your guns or they might, you know, they might start doing a buyback program or something like that. But and I know people are going to say, you know, how is that possible? We have the Republicans back in the House, the Senate, you know, but you have to think not all of them are 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 out for our best interests whether they're republican or democrat or liberal or whatever they are they might not have our best interests just because they have a label they're just because they're labeled republican but um yeah you can look it up 
Um, I, 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 I strongly suggest that you look it up and read into it a little bit. Um, I'm not saying freak out and I'm not, you know, talking about, I'm not trying to create doom porn or something like that, but it's definitely something that you should, you should look up and, and read about. But I just wanted to do that real quick for video today. But uh, don't forget, without sacrifice, there could be no victory.